Hello everyone, welcome to this series questions and answers based on the course of computational finance. Uh, today we have question number 26 out of 30 questions and this question is based on lecture number 12. The question is as follows. What is the Bytes model and how can it be used for pricing? Um, the Bytes model is uh, an extension of the stochastic volatility model of Heston, uh, which actually is given here. So if we forget about this, uh, um, this term involving the volatility and also the one which is boxed here, then we have just the Heston model. And then we have uh, two elements. We have a part which comes for the, the Poisson process and also some drift correction. And this drift correction, uh, it's related actually to this part and comes as the Martingale correction. The derivations for this correction you can find in the lecture notes. Um, so um, if we go back here to the, the meaning of the, what is the purpose of this kind of type of extension, um, we will see that um, we have a, a exponential to power j. j is a normally distributed with mean mu j and sigma j. Um, invariance sigma j squared, so it's normally distributed uh, jump. Then we take the serialization of this jump, and then we take exponent of it, and then we have a minus one. And then this, this element expresses, shows us the magnitude of a jump, and then this part tells us whether jump happened or not. And this part is driven by Poisson process. So Poisson process has either we happens, the event happens or doesn't happen, and then we have a magnitude, the jump event. So some jumps can be small, some jumps can be can be large, and this part tells us about uh, uh, whether when the jump would happen. So we have a product of the two. Uh, this jump part is independent of Poisson process. So in the Bytes model, the jump add-on it is uh, uncorrelated of Brownian motion. So it's basically just uh, independent jump component component that is added. Uh, on the top of the Heston model. The reason why it's ad what's in independent, it's actually because of the uh, characteristic function. Uh, if we have characteristic function of a Bytes model, it, we can actually easily see that it's just a, a, a product of the Heston model and the jump component. So this is the, uh, the meaning. If you would like to correlate the two, that becomes a very, very difficult task uh, of correlating Poisson process or jump part with uh, Brownian motion for that, Characteristic function will be much more involved to be derived. What is the motivation for this process? So we understand how this process is derived. We have some correction, deterministic correction for the drift, and then we have a Poisson process with the jump. But what is the added value of this type of uh, model? And actually what happens is that in people, when they when researchers start investigating the Heston model and how and its flexibility in terms of calibration to the market data, they realize that the Heston model is not able to calibrate uh, options with extremely short uh, maturity. So options expiring week from now or even month from now, uh, then there's a big discrepancy between uh, flexibility of the model, the Heston model, to the market data. So in the market, we will we would normally see a lot of skew that Heston model is not able to generate. And that skew actually can be added. So by adding jumps, we add more skew to the Heston model. So in principle, adding more jumps or jumps to the model adds skew. What is also very interesting that the jumps added to the Heston model, they are very active initially. They add a lot of uh, skew to the model and then they kind of diffuse. So at the end, the model converges to the Heston model. And you can easily see that in, uh, in the lecture number 12, where I have analyzed that and also in the corresponding book. So that's the main motivation. And of course, if we change this generator, so this generator J, uh, we it's not necessary to consider to be normally distributed as it is done by the Bayes model. You can try with different type of distributions, and you will see there will be impact of the on the skew, and every different and every different distributions will have this impact uh, different. However, it is also well known that the skew also provided by the Bayes model may be still insufficient if we consider uh, extreme market scenarios. So this is something to keep in mind. Add, by adding jumps, we add more skew to the model and maybe insufficient is still this amount of skew is still insufficient in extreme market scenario. So let us take a look now at the impact on the implied volatilities in this particular model. 
So we have three additional parameters of the Bytes model. So we have a Xi P, so this is the intensity that is used for a Poisson process. We have a mu j, which is the uh, the mean for normal distributed uh, jump, uh, for the, is the mean. And then we have a standard deviation, sigma j, uh, we also here consider multi different values. So in the case of uh, intensity, we see that uh, increase of intensity increases the level and also adds more smile, more curvature. So it's not really adding, adding additional skew. Uh, the same would be for sigma j. It is very similar graph as here. So it's no much difference between adding more um, intensity in the Poisson or variance in the jump. However, there is much more interesting situation once we consider uh, the mu j, so the mean of the jump. And then we can actually see there is a much more skew added, especially if we add mu j to be negative and strongly negative. And you can see it's tremendous amount of skew we add. Maybe not tremendous, but significant amount of skew uh, that is added. And that is actually the, the most important parameter actually in this Heston, in the Bytes model, which is the extension of the Heston model uh, with jumps. Um, this parameter is also, key, keep that in mind, this is also the parameter in the Heston model which controls the skew. So if we wouldn't have correlation, or correlation would be zero, then we would only observe implied volatility smile. Then the first part what you can do to add skew is to add a negative correlation to introduce negative correlation between asset and the variance process. And then if the skew amount of skew is insufficient, we add jumps in order to enhance amount of skew. It is also important to keep in mind that if you are not considering short maturity options, so very options with the short expiry, you only focus, let's say, on some exotic derivative that will depend on the future realizations far away from today, very likely you will not need jumps to be added. Uh, the reason for that is that the benefits of the calibration of, for the long maturities would be very limited. And on the other hand, you have uh, problems related to number of parameters. By adding jumps, the Bayes model, we have three additional parameters to calibrate. This may not be always the best to, to have. Three parameters uh, extra is quite some uh, work to calibrate your model. So if we choose between Hess and Bytes, always, as uh, we have already discussed in this, course, uh, in this course multiple times, first ask yourself, what is the objective of your, what is your pricing objective, what you want to achieve? Uh, I think that should explain uh, the reasons when to use the Bytes model and how, uh, when to apply it and what is it. For details, I recommend to revisit lecture number 12. See you next time.